Sorry. Here we are again. Here's to the next year of Google Workspace updates. I'm Max from Cybert Media, and these are the Google Workspace updates from January 2022. Set tasks to repeat in Google Calendar. Announced in December as a preview, everyone should now be able to set up tasks in Google Calendar as recurring tasks. This is handy for tasks that always repeat on certain days or intervals. For example, doing the tax return or in the corporate environment perhaps rather an accounting control or something similar. Live translated captions in Google Meet are now generally available. For all workspace users with the Business Plus plan or higher, real-time translated subtitles are now available in Google Meet. So far, it is possible to translate English language into German, French, Portuguese and Spanish. This gives meeting participants the chance to follow the content, even if they don't understand English. Google will probably extend this function to other languages in the future. Participate in hybrid meetings with companion mode. The new companion mode offers the possibility to open Google Meet in such a way that you can use all the interactive features like the polls, chat, live captions and so on without activating your camera or microphone and producing an echo. This makes sense especially for hybrid meetings. Here several participants are often together in a meeting room in the office. If everyone in the room were to participate in the Google Meet via their own notebook, an echo would be created by the device of the other participants. For this reason, meeting rooms are usually equipped with a central camera and one or more connected microphones to cover the entire room with all participants. For example, via the Google Meet hardware or comparable systems. So the Google Meet is only started once in the room via this hardware and the whole room takes part in the Google Meet as one person. As mentioned, this has the advantage that no echo can occur, but the disadvantage that many useful interactive functions such as chat, subtitles or polls cannot be used personally by everyone in the room. For example, if a survey is being conducted, participants working from home or on the road can simply participate in the survey via the open Google Meet on their devices. The participants in the meeting room, however, do not have Google Meet itself open because the meeting takes place via the room hardware. With companion mode, participants in the meeting room can now easily join the Meet on their own notebooks participate in the interactive polls and use the other features such as virtual hand raising to prevent chatter in the room while remote participants raise their hands. This ensures that everyone has the same meeting experience and hybrid meetings don't end in chaos. Companion mode can be easily accessed from the Google Meet's home screen in the web browser. Add a page break before paragraphs in Google Docs in mobile. For some time now, it has been possible to set breaks before paragraphs in Google Docs. This way you can specify that certain paragraphs always start on a new page, such as headings. Now this feature is also available in the mobile app. Improved editing experience in Google Chat on the web. Until now, you could only format text in Google Chat if you knew the right text characters for it. For example, an asterisk at the beginning and end of a text for a bold mark. Now the formatting options can also be done via the graphical user interface. All you have to do is highlight the desired text, click on the new underlined A in the chat and then click on the desired formatting icon. See when a message is deleted in a Google chat space. Now when a user in a Google chat space without conversation threads deletes his message, a notice of deletion with timestamp appears instead. Warning banners in Google Drive alert users of suspicious files. If a user opens a potentially suspicious or dangerous file in Google Drive, Google displays a warning banner to help protect them and their organization from malware, phishing and ransomware. These warnings are already available when opening Google Docs, Sheets, Slides and Drawings. New navigation bar functions in Google Drive. From the URL bar in Google Drive, you can now quickly access key pages and functions. When navigating into the Google Drive web application from the URL bar by hitting the tab key, you can access buttons like skip to main content, keyboard shortcuts and accessibility feedback from the bar at the top of the page. 
categorize and protect content at scale with Google Drive labels. Google Drive labels are now available to everyone. Google Workspace administrators can define different labels that are either automatically assigned to new documents based on predefined rules or that a user has to assign when creating a new document. In this case, a hint appears in the document for the user and he can select the appropriate label. This is then visibly displayed behind the document title. This makes it easier to show for example which documents contain sensitive information and may not be shared with external parties. As always, the new features may not be directly visible to everyone yet, but will be available within the next few days. See you again with the updates from February.